So today I'm going to show you how to use, how to work out percentages within a spreadsheet and how to use what we call absolute cell reference. Okay, so let me just share my screen. And we shall go into a ready-made Excel spreadsheet that I have here. So we can see Red Park Experts. Okay, so what do we have? So this is a spreadsheet all about sales figures, if you like. So Key Mellon, one of the sales people, the quarter one sales, quarter two sales, quarter three sales, quarter four sales. Total sales for Key Mellon. We can see there's a sum being worked out, a formula being worked out, total the four quarters. And this is what we have here. Okay. The average of K Milne's sales over the year, what we have here. So the average over the four quarters is 78,000. And you see up here, it's equals average. Okay, so remember in the formula, auto sum, we've got the most commonly used ones. Sum, average, count numbers, the number of times it's um, appearing. Max, min, okay, so maximum, minimum. So average, maximum, Minimum. So we've got here equals average, and then we've got the equals max. So the maximum sales that Kay Milne did over the quarter is 81,697, the largest amount. And the smallest, the minimum amount, okay, equals min B5, B5 to E5. Okay, so over the four quarters, this is the smallest amount. And Excel, Excel will calculate this for you automatically without you having to go in and look at the figures and work it out yourself. Now, if we want to do a percentage, um, of, percentage of export total, okay, for instance, in here, I have this cell set. Go to home tab. I've got it set to wrap text. If yours doesn't appear like that, if yours appears this way instead, remember, go to home tab, wrap text, and this will appear. Okay. So how do I work out my percentage? Okay. So the total of K-Milne, K-Milne has achieved uh, £315,797 of sales. And that we want to work out as a percentage of the total sales for everybody, okay? Percentage of everybody, the entire company. This is for sales for the year. So what percentage has K-Mill got of this? First of all, I'm going to show this in a slightly different way, okay? So I'm going to go to number. And my computer decides to work. And I'm going to show it as currency. Okay, I don't think I'll bother with the pound sign in this case, but I do want two decimal places. There we go. So we can see what's happening. Okay, so I'm also going to put some grid lines on here so that I can see and work out borders and grid lines. Um, so my borders, so that I can see exactly what's happening. Total column. I'm going to highlight the entire, the total row, I'm going to highlight the entire row, and I'm going to make it bold. Okay, so anything in this row will now appear as bold. I'm giving the instructions for the entire row. So again, percentage of export total. So remember, I wanted to find out what K Milne's total uh, sales as a percentage of the overall total sales is. So in here, I'm going to put in a formula. So I always start a formula with equals, so it's equals sign. And in order to work out percentages, I would go to K Milne's total, this cell, and I want to divide it, divide it by the total sales altogether. There we go. I already have these cells set as appearing as a percentage, but again, if yours are appearing like this, 0 0.35, don't worry. Just highlight the sales that you want. Go to number and remember to make them display as a percentage, percentage, two decimal places. Okay, so in order to work out percentages, we can see here it's F5, which is K Milne's total, divided, divided by F12, which is overall total. Okay. Now, if I was to copy this formula down, it wouldn't work. And the reason that it wouldn't work is because, remember when we copy formulas, it, Excel automatically moves things on. 
one sell at a time. So it's saying now F6, F6 total sales, which is great for N Hill, but then it's saying divide by E6. No, we still want to divide by this one here. Okay, F12. And it's telling me F13. It automatically moves them on, and there's nothing. Uh, I don't want that. So, what I need to do, get rid of that just now. So, we saw delete. In here, I want what's called an absolute sale reference. An absolute means that it's absolute, the address never changes. Okay. In order to do that, I sit at the start of F12, this is F12, and I put my dollar sign in. Dollar for F, and F is the column, and then dollar for the row address. There we go. I don't need a dollar sign in front of the two. Okay, It's just in front of the, the column number and in front of the cell number. Okay, there we go. Now, can I copy down my total percentages of total sales has worked out. Okay, it's worked out. We can see F and 12, absolute. F and 12, absolute. F, 12, absolute. Okay. A quick way of checking that your percentages add up could be you might want to do a done in here, quick done, and that should add up to 100%. Yeah, it does. So I can take that out. Okay. Okay. And that's how we work out percentages and absolute self references.